Okay guys, I'm um, getting ready to do an unboxing of a uh, motor speed control combo that I'm going to put in my 1 8 scale uh, E buggy that I'm going to get ready to build. Should be getting that tomorrow, which I'm totally stoked about and I'll be doing an unboxing, review, build and all that, which will include what's in this box and, um, and more. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and you can see I've unboxed it already, making sure everything is there, but we'll see how it was packaged. I did take, there was one um, plastic bubble package thing that I had already taken out. Actually, my daughter took it and popped it. So we had that, we had some paper. And here we are. And this was ordered from the uh, West, the Hobby King West um, factory supply house, and it took, I ordered it Sunday, and it got to me Thursday, so that's a pretty good turnaround. Anyways, Hobby King order, this is the Turnigy Trackstar 150 amp 18 scale brushless censored ESC. Uh, I am totally stoked to try this out. I had their 120 amp um, well, it was the Sky Toro 120 amp ESC with the 4600 kV four pole 550 can motor in my short course truck and a Stampede Truggy that I, I had done. I uh, was totally happy with that speed control and motor. So I've got some high hopes for this. I'm hoping this is going to work out well. So we've got that. And we also have the Eternity Track Star 18 scale censored motor. This is the 2400 kV. I don't know if you can actually see that with the light. 2400 kV um, censored brushless motor. So we'll go ahead and uh, open these up and see what they both look like out of the package. Start with the motor. Comes with a sensor wire, standard six pin. Uh, looks to be about, oh, I don't know, nine inches long, maybe. I do have a ruler here. This is a small ruler, but this is six to there. Oh, so it's about 10 inches long. 10 inch long sensor cable, which is very nice. And here it is. This is their red can um, censored brushless motor. Holy cow, look at the size of the bearing on that. So you have your 5 millimeter shaft right here, and then that just gets enlarged. A whole lot that bearings huge that's awesome magnets don't feel quite as powerful as my uh, castle 2200 kV sensorless these magnets feel a lot stronger probably at least twice as strong um, but like I said it's 2400 kV censored They've got some solder tabs on here with kind of like a circuit board backing to it. We'll be soldering to these parts here. So that's pretty cool. Quick comparison actually going back to my castle. You could see that the can is definitely longer and the the Turnigy is censored, so you know the censored part is taking up quite a bit of space on this. So the castle is definitely bigger. They're both 42 uh, millimeter cans. So if I wanted to fit this into my Techno converted RCAT, I can fit this right in the motor mount, no problems. So that's cool. Feels pretty, I mean, it feels beefy. It's got six. Probably 2.5, I would assume. Uh, hex heads around one end. 
and then you're probably two millimeter on the back here so that's cool looks like good construction and I believe that's it in this box yep no stickers no stickers a little disappointed I like getting stickers <clears throat> now to the speed control this just comes out oh, okay so the box is now empty we have instructions which is going to give us our introduction some safety mode preparation ESC calibration which is nice I also downloaded this off of Hobby King's website it pretty much gives you all this information uh, this speed control does need a program card or a PC connector which the program card will do in order to change the settings you can see the program card over here this is their smart card I need to order it the only place I can find it is from their global website and it's going to take probably two weeks to get to me which I'm kind of bummed about but that should be on its way um, it does tell you what it's capable of programming and then it does tell you the uh, factory um, programmed specs to this and then it's limitations warranty blase blase so that's cool speed control itself comes in this plastic packaging which has your motor wires let's see how long these are your motor leads I should say and battery leads Wow, these are not very long at all. I've gotten much longer wires. My Trinity Trackstar 120 amp turbo boost ESC for my 10 scale came with longer wires than this. Let me uh, go ahead and measure these up for you. You got six inch wire leads, which is gonna work out for the kit that I'm gonna be getting, but this will limit you for certain kits for sure you know I mean they do have some nice silicone 12 gauge wire nice and flexible pre tinned on both ends so that's cool but I would expect at least a 9 inch at least a 9 inch wire I mean 12 gauge maybe even 10 gauge just because I mean you're moving a lot of current here we got a little set of screws, which is for the ESC um, mounting plate. I'm assuming this lead is to go to a programming card, but we'll find out in just a minute. And we'll get the ESC out of here. Oh, one more not so important thing here is the ESC mounting tray. Looks like four screws into the ESC itself. And then, um, two screws to mount to wherever you're trying to mount it to. I probably won't need this. But it comes with that. And now the ESC itself physically is much larger than my 120 amp. So it is not the same casing just with a little more power to it. This is physically larger. The cooling fins on the outsides come up past the fan this is the uh, generation two of this speed control. Uh, small little fan connector. Oh, okay. So this is maybe this pro goes to the program card, but this is also from your no. Yep, that's all it is. Is for the program card. You can see it says program right here. Your fan right here. And this is for your ESC. So that's cool. So this is specifically for your program card to go in the program slot over here. And then you have your ESC lead, which is a nice long lead. You are looking at, we'll call that six, we'll call it over just over nine inches on that lead. So that's really good. That'll get you from A to B. Um, hopefully with some to spare the on off switch 
I'm looking forward to this because I've had issues with on-off switches from Castle to the Sky Toro to uh, Turnigy Trackstar. I mean, every switch I have gets gummed up with dirt, sand, and grit and just no longer works and it drives me crazy. So this ESC has a little push button type. Um, looks pretty well sealed. It's no longer a mechanical switch, it's just kind of a, a push button type. Very stoked about that. The LED is similar to my 120 amp ESC. You have your two battery posts right here. They do give you some nice, see if I can get this up close here. 